elevated welterweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting a member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Donald Cowboy Cerrone! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Tim Dirty Bird Means! You ready to fight? You ready? So here is Donald Cowboy Cerrone, as versatile a finisher as we have on this roster. 16 wins by submission, another eight by knockout or TKO, and he's really started to put it all together now that he's no longer cutting the weight down to 155 pounds. Donald Cerrone, as active and accomplished as any fighter who hasn't realized a championship, he is back at it tonight. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Shooting for the takedown here. Beautiful right hand there from Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Some friction with his former team, Jackson Link MMA, but the results have been there since that separation, DC. No arguing with the recent form of the future Hall of Famer, Donald Cerrone. And the Cerrone takedown defense is there. Oh, he did a great job of rolling. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, that guillotine choke is tough. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Making all these shots count. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Look at that. He recognizes he's about to lose position. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Getting the ball here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Cowboy Cerrone. There it is, now he's going to mount. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. He's out. What's the mission defense on the switch? All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Great job being busy off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. He's got to find a way to get back to his feet. This is where he wants to be. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Oh, good ground and pound here. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how he Look at him, he set another choke now. Look at that, he set it up. That guillotine is tight. The guillotine looks like it's locked in. Right now, he's gotta be patient. He's gotta squeeze, but not too much. He's gotta get the guard locked, 
and try to find a submission. Oh, look at the fight here. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Down towards the mat. And you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast table. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. How about those five minutes? All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, so there's the end of the round. It had a little bit of everything and nearly a finish due to a submission. But you see, you when fight? you're on the ground with him, you you're in danger. You're constantly under attack. There is no place to rest. Where you can rest with most guys, you gotta be very aware against this guy, or he's gonna catch you in something that you can't get out of. All right, so next round is underway after he came very close to submitting his opponent in that previous round. He came very, very close to getting that finish, but he wasn't able to get that little extra squeeze to get the finish. But it's okay. Continue to try and put yourself back in those positions to get the job done. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. All right, so perhaps he's gonna have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's gotta pay attention now before it gets worse. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Cerrone's got the full mount. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. He Bottom fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. It looks like he's trying to get this arm triangle. All he's got to do is get to the side, get his chest down to the mat, and he'll get the finish. Oh my goodness, he's struggling to finish. Finish that head by Oh, he escapes! Wow, that is great submission defense. Right, so he lands again just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his more time. You know why change? It's working. And it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. <laughs> Means is now dealing with a cheat cut. All right, so the lifelong striker, Cowboy Cerrone. Oh, a nice double there, yes. Oh, he's attacking choke now. That guillotine is tight. There it is. Oh, oh he got out. out. Oh, he got out. He did a great job. He attacked a lot. He got pressure forward and off to the side, rolled to his back to release that pressure. Ground and pound the hammer, Mark Coleman would be proud. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Means is right back to the full mount. So 
you gotta be careful playing on the Setting up for another submission now. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Arm triangle attempt. He's gotta get that elbow going forward. He's gotta drop his chest to the mat. Don't squeeze. Let your shoulder do the work and you'll get the finish. Oh, it hits a fight here. Let's see who's gonna get it. Back and forth we go. This might be it, though. This cannot happen much longer. Oh, somehow he got out. That was beautiful. Look at how he brought his hips up in the air. Used his momentum to swing himself back to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by me. Now he's going full mount. He's got to be careful here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by me. Man, he's To try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds. Shutting this kid an opportunity to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. Third round underway. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, and he found the target again. Nice. Nicely done. of the transition. Nice scramble. Let's go. Push forward and use that lower Means gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Takedown defense is there. Oh! Massive knee to the head. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Tags him with that uppercut. And now some separation. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Big punch landed for the middle. Pretty good head kick there. Nice block. Arts, perfect strategy here. He has to have guard. Beautiful grounded palm. And it looks like he has a cut now. I need you to use that wrist control. Cerrone is looking to lock up an arm bar here. Ooh, looks like it might be locked in. Once he gets you going, he's got so many ways to finish arm bar. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Keep moving, keep moving. Three minutes now to go in the fight. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. We're not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Shot is blocked there by Meeks. Just misses there with the left. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side pull. If you're the opponent, you've got to get out of here. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands. Oh, Cerrone's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Two minutes now to go in this one. Means gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. 
Moving to his left now. Means going for the takedown, nothing doing there. Nice body shot there. Means gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. He's got a good right hand. Oh, you land all that is how we're doing here. Just misses with the straight left hand. Try to establish that jab. Short time, short time. 60 seconds left. Right hand over the top. There, somehow, his opponent stayed up with I mean, he's still on his feet. But he's still on his feet. Well, it seems like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. Oh, and now pulling guard. Oh, goes for the flying arm there. He posted his foot on the hip. Wow, somehow, someway, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Okay. Move, use your footwork. 15 seconds. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. And there you go, again, half guard. Oh, what a fight as we go the full 15 minutes. I wouldn't be surprised to see them run it back at some point in the future. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. So congratulations to Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Yet another UFC win here tonight. And once again, he has taken on all comers once again, he finds a way to get his hand raised tonight as he puts all his skills together. And of course, if one guy knows how to celebrate a W, it is.